So guys, for the first step, you want to get to this screen. Now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Once you turn it back on again, you're going to see the Windows Zone screen. Now once you see the Windows Zone screen, you want to turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will bring you to here. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on Advanced Options, which will then bring us into here. Now you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. And now once you're in the command prompt, we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Now we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. And now we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash scan os. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter again. And now you want to type in boot sect space forward slash nt52 space c colon. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in disk part. Click on enter. And now we're going to type in list space disk. Click on enter again. And now you want to select a drive that you have Windows installed or the drive that you're trying to install Windows on. So for me, it's going to be disk zero. You know which drive is which by the size. So for me, it's 80 gigabytes and this is the drive that I want to select. So now you want to type in select disk and then you want to put the number that will come up. So for me, it's going to be disk zero. Click on enter. And now once you do that, now we're going to type in list space partition. Click on enter. And now you want to set the partition that's called system. So for me, it's going to be partition one. So now I'm going to type in select partition one. Click on enter. Now you want to type in active. Click on enter again. And now you want to click on Control C on your keyboard. And now it should look something like this. So it should not be saying this part anymore for you. It should start with X or a different drive letter. And now you want to type in SFC space full slash scan now. And I click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. And now once the scan has been completed, you just want to close out the command prompt. And then click on continue to Windows. And now once you're back in Windows, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And now you want to click on check for updates and do the updates your computer may have. Then you just want to restart your computer again and then the problem should be fixed.